Relax. Keep your eyes open. <coughs> Breathe easily. Settle in. In this portion of the transmission, <coughs> the holotope experience, the meditation, <coughs> we will, as we have said, begin to lock in, burn in, the structure, the matrix of the belief system. All of you hold in your memory, your mind's eye, your imagination, the hexagonal structure that was diagrammed of the negative belief system. Hold that template, that x-ray, that filter in your mind's eye for a moment. Just know, the image doesn't have to stay there. But right now, by superimposing it in your imagination, it will be the primary focus of the following meditation. Become relaxed and allow your eyes to focus on the holotope itself. Just allow Whatever changes occur to a change in this sense naturally, allow it to sink in in whatever way seems appropriate to your imagination. You will begin to perceive different layers, different levels of the multidimensional structure that is on the holotope screen. And as you do so, bit by bit, as we take you through this, you will know, just by allowing yourself to know, that this template shall be rewired, reformed, crystallized within your neurological net in the center of your brain. Allowing your receiver to become more clear, more precisely attuned to the higher frequency of the higher self, of which you and the higher self are all a part of the infinite sea of all that is. Allow yourself to float in that sea as you view the changes taking place before you. And as you float, calmly, easily, effortlessly, in the warm, supporting sea of energy and consciousness of creation itself, allow yourself to let go of all concerns, let your thoughts drift away, feel yourself floating either on the surface or deep, deep down, deep within the infinite sea of all that is. Allow yourselves further relaxation and feel your mind open up like a flower, the petals of a flower opening up to receive this structure, this honeycomb structure as it floats down and settles in to the center of your brain in the corpus callosum between the hemispheres of your brain and firmly affixes itself into the very center of your thoughts, your feelings, and your beliefs, and attaches itself through whatever circuitry you wish to imagine to all aspects of your personality structure. 
And as you allow this process to occur, let yourself feel the unconditionally loving support of the higher mind, of all that is creation and existence supporting you in your ability, in your endeavor, supporting you in your willingness to allow yourself to be who you truly are. Supporting you in your willingness to give yourself permission to be more of who you truly are. Allow yourself to continue to imagine this hexagonal template locking in to the pathways of your brain. And as it does so, seeing the pathways of your brain move, change, see the electrical impulses, the chemical molecules floating along those pathways delivering information, delivering awareness, delivering consciousness, delivering inspiration, delivering understanding, delivering knowingness that you are free to choose who you wish to be at all times. And should there ever be a moment when you allow yourself to forget, when you choose to forget, when you feel yourself surrounded by fearful ideas, when you feel yourself choosing fear, allow yourself to recall this circuitry as it now goes from a plastic state to a hardwired connection in the very center of your brain. And as it does so, as these new neural pathways begin to form, you can feel a cleansing sensation throughout your mind, throughout your personality, becoming more crystallized, more fine-tuned as an antennae to higher vibrations, higher frequencies, higher resonances of energy and consciousness. You become a clear receiver and all your neurological pathways become, as they form, as they crystallize, as they hardwire, they become superconductive, offering no resistance to the energy of your higher self. The energy of your higher vibration flows freely along these pathways. And as it does and feeds into the center of your brain, it energizes, warms, and sparks to life an inner fire, an inner sun, an inner star. And as it bursts into life, it sends energy back up these pathways to the higher mind. Even as the higher mind feeds this energy down to the physical mind, this burst of starlight in the brain regulates the flow in both directions, allowing these neurological pathways to become hyperconductive, moving in two directions at once, up and down, down and up, flowing through each other, past each other, and communing with all levels of your being, communing with creation that is within and the creation that is without. Communing with all that is on every level. Connecting, connecting, connecting to your true infinite self. See the honeycomb structure in your mind's eye the very center hexagonal piece representing the belief system that you wish to work with. Bring your fears, your specific fears, your specific obstacles, 
your specific questions, your specific brick walls, your specific challenges, your specific difficulties into this center hexagon. Feed them into the template, into the framework, into the machine. Allow the machine to work for you automatically, effortlessly. Allow your specific challenge to connect into this matrix and see the reflections of each of the surrounding hexagons as it attempts to steer you away from yourself. See and experience and recall the times in which you felt the fear and rationalized that it was all right for that fear to be there and justified and found reasons for the fear to remain. Remember those messages that you receive from the negative belief to continue to perpetuate and instill that fear within you, to make it seem as if it was unchangeable, immovable, rigid, frozen, solid, static, eternally. And feel the sensation of reward that you were given for choosing that which you know is not your truth, but making it your truth in order to survive. Feel all that you have chosen to listen to as patterns of things that have nothing to do with you, as frequencies and resonances that are not of your choosing. Feel the projection onto others to defend yourself, the paranoia that the outside world is as against you as the inside belief wishes you to know you are alone, helpless, defenseless, hopeless. But now, in that deep, dark, alone space that has been created by the negative belief, you see that small spark of doubt. And you know that even though the negative belief wishes to use that doubt to reinforce itself, you now see that spark as a crack in the template of the negative belief structure. You now see that spark as a light at the end of the tunnel. You now use that doubt to doubt the negative belief, to give yourself the benefit of the doubt, and to allow yourself to move toward that light, step by step. And even though the negative belief will attack and magnify and amplify and put pressure upon you to believe what it tells you, to buy into, the negative vibration so that you will survive, so that you will not be annihilated. You now see enough of the light to know this is a lie, that you are eternal, that you are infinite, that you are one with all that is. <clears throat> and this negative belief that seemed so overwhelmingly true is nothing but an illusion. And you begin to feel yourself find and recognize how to use the power of the illusion instead of succumbing to the illusion of the power. And you step forward toward that light, that light at the end of the dark tunnel and it grows, and it grows, and it grows. And as you get closer to that beautiful, all-encompassing light of creation, you see and feel the bright, unconditional love and support of all that is flooding through you, through every molecule, 
through every atom, through every subatomic particle, rendering you and the template transparent, a powerful beam of x-rays, making all templates within you transparent so that you can see the structure for what it is. No secrets are hidden from you now. You recognize the fallacy of the illusion. You see through it. It is gossamer. It is lace. It is dissolving into nothing but space. And you are surrounded by the light, engulfed by the light, and you see the expanding circle of positive belief rippling out as if you threw a stone into the pond of consciousness of all that is and the ripples pass through you and caress you and love you and cherish you and support you and perpetuate you and continue you and connect you as one with all things and all that is. All places and all times and all things and all people exist within you. Creation exists in this light within you. And you see the truth that as you allow for this connection with clarity and higher mind, that you both exist within creation and paradoxically creation exists within you. You are all one and the same, different expressions of the same, of the one, of all that is. And as you bathe in this shower of radiant light, you feel the neurological pathways crystallizing, solidifying, superconductive, hyperconductive, fiber optic wires of light coursing to and fro in your brain, glowing, gleaming, delivering knowledge, information, peace, love, joy, deservability, certainty, and knowingness. This is who you are. This is your true being. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. And let it out. For you have now crystallized the new pathway. You have connected and hardwired this new template like a chip in the center of the circuitry. This will be your default position, your default setting. This will be the reminder, always and forever, that will always tug at you, pull at you, magnetize and attract you to know that regardless of how dark you may choose to experience your reality, no matter how dark and negative a belief you may buy into, that doorway to the light will always be there and you will always have a reminder that it is there regardless of the illusion. All you need to do in those moments of great fear is stop, take a breath, close your eyes, and remember this moment, this light, this template, and see the coursing circuitry in your mind that leads you to the recognition that this is your time to choose who you choose to be, who you prefer to be, who you truly are. Take a deep breath in and blow it out. And with every breath from this moment forward that you take, 
Will you regenerate your reality? Recreate your reality over and over and over again. But each time you do, a little bit more of this new wiring will take hold until such time as there is no other choice and no other path that courses through you. Until such time as you are the perfectly clear conduit and receiver and antenna for higher vibrational frequencies and can no longer see the choices that lead to the dark, but allow the dark choices to be there, equally valid with every other choice, but unchosen, quiet, floating, supported and loved, while you manifest with your focus and surrender, with your expansion and contraction, that which is truly representative of who you know yourself to be. Take another deep breath and let it out. Allow yourselves now just to float for a moment. Let everything that has been said sink in. In a moment of quiet peace, Feast your eyes, feast your mind, and feast your soul on the vibrant colors before you. And let it all sink in and become your own. And breathe. And breathe. And breathe. Soften the music, soften the light, turn down all the light, be at peace, be at one, be here, be now, be present. Let it all drift away and know that you are not the person that was here a moment ago, and that this is not the reality that was here a moment ago. You are new, and you are free to choose. Take a deep breath in, and let it out. <coughs> And now, let yourselves just sit for a moment as you end the holotope meditation experience and simply let yourself reorient slowly, carefully, calmly, gently, peacefully. And we will, after a short break, resume the remainder of this transmission. Be at peace.